Let's go. Awesome. Welcome to another Friday and it's as always it's Function Friday. In today's episode I'm taking a little of a detour to do something that I think is going to speak to a lot of Ghanaians considering the recent distribution of ambulances in the country. Um, medical emergency system or emergency um, services is something that I'm quite fond and passionate about because I have a personal experience with that so when we come back I will be talking to you and showing you what we're gonna build and then also some big announcement concerning the shows and subsequent ones coming so we will be right back So, welcome if you're just joining us. This is Functions Friday, and on today's episode, we will be taking a look at how to create a very simple emergency response system that will help you notify people, loved ones, friends, family, if you have an emergency, and potentially probably even notify the ambulance service. Now, so the question is why am I doing this today? So, it's not the regular Functions Friday stuff. Now, even though Functions is under serverless, which um, Logic Apps and some form of flow is under, um, I chose to do this because of um, some changes to the channel that is coming up. So, myself and my team, after you know a few reviews, putting things together, we're trying to make some changes to the channels um, that we run. So first off, um, IoT Tuesday is still going to be IoT Tuesday. It's going to be on its own Tuesdays. That's fine. Um, we realize that there's a lot of interest and there's a lot of demand for the Power Platform um, series we're doing on Sundays for Power Series. So we're going to keep that. However, uh, because we want to give you more than just functions and also be inclusive on everything happening on the Microsoft Azure and other technical stacks. We are rebranding Functions Friday to become the mystified technology and then Sundays will be Power Series on its own. So now the three shows will be IoT Tuesday, the mystified technology on Friday and then Power Series on Sunday. Now the mystified tech will give me the opportunity to get other uh, industry expect to host the show on, to host the show on Friday so I don't become the only face you see on Fridays for the mystified technology so you're going to see friends colleagues you know I mean people in the community who just want to show something in tech on Friday so that is the major announcement I have for the channels so with that said why are we building an emergency response system? So over the week, there was a lot of fuss about ambulances the president inaugurated or in some cases outdoored. Well, I have my own reservations about all that. You know, we have questions to ask, like, for instance, how was the distribution done? Was it based on some data they have knowing that there's more need of it in particular areas as opposed to others? But hey, that's not why we are here today. So today... If you have been following me for some time now, you know that I like to work with this, the flick button, 
which has um, a few states that allows me to build systems like a panic button or an emergency response button. So this I can actually clip, let's say, right in my, you know, in my shirt if I can get this to work. Yeah, something like that. All right. So with something like this, um, you will be able to notify loved ones, notify your friends. And in our hypothetical scenario today, you'll be able to notify the National Ambulance Service that you need help. And they should be able to come to your rescue because this um, also allows you to send your location. So today on Functions Friday, soon to be demystified technology, I'll show you how we can take this button, transform it into a panic or an emergency response button that sends an SMS and then also sends a message to our hypothetical um, emergency response team for them to know that someone is in trouble and even potentially probably tweet it so friends and family know that you are in trouble so let's get right into it so we're going to be using um obviously the flick button and its companion app which i'll share whilst i'm doing that and then also we're going to be using microsoft flow or we could also use logic apps all right we could use either logic apps which is a serverless component or we can use flow any of them and the two differences that if you use logic app you're running it in azure Right, but if you use Flow or Power Automate, then you're using it within the you know Power Platform or O365, which if you have any O365 account, you should be able to do it, not necessarily having an Azure account. So that is what we will be doing. So well, let's get right into it. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, 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 please subscribe so you can get more content from me. Um, it's as a joining on YouTube. You can also connect to me on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on Twitch, and also on Mixer. So let's get into it let's have some fun so I'm gonna go ahead and open actually let me get my edge browser here since we are staying faithful to edge let's get right in there and welcome all of you who have joined us so I'm gonna go ahead and go to flow microsoft com so this should take you to what now is power automate and you should if you have any valid o365 account you should be able to you know use it so let's sign in hopefully you sign it with an account I'm already using and yep okay let's use outlook uh, Okay. So all I'm doing is just connecting to my O6, uh, my Outlook account, because I have access to Flow from there. So just connecting there, and if you don't know what Power Automate is, I'll be talking more about it on the Power series on Sundays. But I had an I had an episode where I talked about Power Automate, so you can go back check my YouTube channel, and it's there. So this is your Power Automate environment that allows you to create, you know, not just business process automation, but very simple automations. It has a lot of connectors, what you might call in other terms, API or SDKs that allow you to create, you know, seamless flows, click of a button, codeless way. And that's what we're trying to do here today. So let's get into it. All right. Awesome. So. If you don't know what the flick button is, like I mentioned, it's, it's a cool button that has, you know, three states that allows you, all right, to actually, you know, seamlessly create flows and processes, all right. This this how it looks. It looks like um, it has a companion app which is which connects to your phone. Um, I can actually show you that screen right now. Um, yep. So this is this is the Flick, you know, companion companion app, all right. And this is on my phone right now. As you can see, I have this, um, I have a Flick button, this one named and enabled on my phone. So we're going to show you. I'm going to show you how to configure it so that when this button is pressed in the form of a panic button, something is going to happen. So we're going to build on it incrementally. So first of all, we're going to try to connect with it and see how you know it works. At least in you know initial stages initial stages so that when i when i click on it i want it to start a trigger 
and then we can build on a trigger and then you know create some um, um, crazy stuff so first of all um, let's go to our, our flick app on the phone let's set it up and then we will come back to automate and then create that all right so it knows how to you know how to deal and connect with it so let's go ahead I'm gonna switch to the flick app um, sorry if you don't see my face but um, we will we'll try to make this work all right so here in the flick app when I tap on the flick app it opens up um, the options I have for the flick app and I mentioned that the flick app actually has um, three states all right it has the click it has a double click and then it has the hold so the click is when you actually click the button just once and then the double click is when you click the button twice and the hold is when you press and hold the button for a while so let's look at our scenario so one scenario will be that um, either when I when I click the button all right um, I am probably in a dying situation or I need help all right um, maybe when I when I press and hold it that could probably mean you know it's a life and death issue all right but let's start like I may like I said baby steps so our scenario is with a click of this button we want to notify loved ones and then notify the National Ambulance Service in our own ways all right so to do this I'm going to click on the click option which means um, when I click on it so these are the, the options you have within the click uh, the flick app you can do something in terms of communication fun um, you know just for fun sakes let's see if I can do this I mean for fun sakes it could be a buzzer it could be a fart generator <laughs> that's crazy it could be a fake uh, you know a, a flick counter all right um, but we don't <laughs> we don't want to do it. I mean come on I think I want to try that so um, hopefully you should be able to hear this okay so I'm going to do this I'm going to just try to play around I mean just to show you how it works so I'm going to go for the fart generator and I know this is unwholesome but so let's see double fart hmm let's try double and messy all right and then I'll save the action okay so now I'm saying that when I press this flick button it should give a double fat so I'm going to do that right now I'm just going to press it can you hear that <laughs> did you did you hear did you hear that it's it's a bit faint but let me let me do that again yeah I mean so <laughs> sorry guys but but yeah, I mean that's that's just how simple it is. But let's let's get serious. So I'm going to remove this, and then I'm going to go back. And in our case, uh, we want this. We're going to go to tools. Okay, I can go over this. We can have you know um, phone control, which means when you press this button, it should enable Bluetooth. It should open your camera. It should find your phone, flashlight. So these are cool stuff you can do. You know, out of the box, just with a flick button. Okay, without any um, um, stress. Um, you can do home automation turning on your light on and off I have a Philips hue in the house right now so I can use this button <laughs> Linda <laughs> so <laughs> I can use this button to actually turn on the hue light on and off you know what um let's try this because I'm trying to show you some of the things you can do with the button um, so let's go to Philips hue control um, I have a bridge um, I have a Philips bridge here so let me go ahead and add bridge and do this let's see if it's gonna yep I think it's found uh, press to authenticate I'm going to press my bridge I pressed my bridge okay so now I have the office lamp here okay so that is it right so now that is set so let's go back here um, and that's it so let's say I want to do light and then office lamp and I want to toggle it so which means that if I press it you know uh, color mode let's do a random color mode let's set the brightness and I'm going to you know save this so now um, I'm going to turn on the lights for just a bit and sorry about this but I would have to re reposition um, let me actually do this I have another camera here that I am going to quickly set up okay and I'm going to switch to that camera 
all right so you can see this uh, sorry about the light but I'm putting it down there so you can see that the light is there all right let me add um, actually let me do this all right awesome so this is the button I have here all right and and that is the the beams from the light so I'm just going to press it now do you see what just happened now check this out so anytime I press the button because I said it should turn the light on and off and then it should actually change the color random color look at this when I press it it goes off when I press it again it comes back on with a different color I hope you're actually seeing the colors like now it's like some green some greenish color you know um, let me actually put this here um, you know so that it can it's it's reflecting the colors you know here let's just do this so I'm going to press it again it goes off I press the button again and now you can see the color has changed you know so I press it I press the button I press it again and the color has changed I press it it goes off I press it again and now it's a blue color so this is just this is just how you know I mean TV make it a lot more dramatic this is what I'm going to do I'm going to actually put the the light in my face on this side of my face and then when I press it kind of like goes off and then when I press it again you know it changes the color you can see that the change on my on my desk so that is how simple it is to configure this button you know as it is without having to do anything connected to flow or Azure or anything now let's get back to our, our scenario all right so let's go back here so now I'm going to do this again actually let me turn this off there we go and then I'm going to remove this awesome so now so you know um, before we continue so you know it's not just it's not just the flick the flick button all right you actually have there's also the AWS IoT button which you can use you can also configure that to use uh, there's also this Microsoft text mode button which you can also use to do that okay so you have a lot of options options on which one to use but we are picking a flag because of the multi-state so let's get back let's get back into this so now I'm going to go back and then click on the click option for this and in, in our current situation we want to do you know some custom stuff so let's go here and as you can see there is actually even an option immediately for flow right here all right as you can see right here and that is what we want to do okay that's what we want to we want to start working on so let's click on the flow and I want to include GPS location as you can see that so that is going to pick my phone's GPS location and then add to the the flow request all right so save action um, so that's it so currently what's happening is that my my flick button is being configured that when I press the button it's actually going to call or trigger a flow now for the flow to work okay for the flow to work I will need to make sure that I add that flow you know I create that flow and connect it to my flick button and then we can proceed so now let's go back to let's go back to our flow all right actually let's go this way awesome so I'm going to zoom in a bit so I'm going to go to the side here hopefully this is good for you you can see this and then I'm going to click on create <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was funny all right so uh, one connection no uh, it's something about it's an Azure, Azure uh, um, IoT central connection that's not that's broken I don't mind that so I'll not worry about you know about fixing that so we come here and I'm going to do an instant flow you know triggered manually as needed so here uh, if you want to know more about this go watch my previous my previous episode it will tell you about what the automated flow is the schedule flow and the business process flow so we are doing an instant flow so we're going to click this and then um, in it, I'm just going to click on a manual you know manually triggered flow and then generate now this is going to allow me to generate a flow so let me call this uh, ambulance request all right so I just given it a name now this could be any manual inputs like a date number yes no but 
we don't want this so I'm going to delete this all right and then in here I'm going to add I'm going to type in flick because there's a built-in connector for flick on automate so I'm going to click that and got it so here it says when a flick is pressed or when a task is executed I want when a flick is pressed so now it's going to ask me to connect to my flick all right this is because I have I've, I'm created an account for the flick and I need to authorize and authenticate against this flick so that it knows that it's this particular button we're talking about and yeah for those of you asking how can you get the flick button yeah it's um if you're interested reach out to me we can order some for you um and then hey you can play around with it uh let's see i as of today i don't know the i don't remember the price so uh let's go to the site and check and check out the price now so you have an idea if you have friends you know in the u.s as well you can call so this is this is a new generation once this was a very first generation that i got there's a story about this that i'll tell sometime but this is a new generation i actually have a few coming in i think next week and so i'll just do a follow-up um, um show to show you these new ones when mine comes in so if you go to shop just trying to find out the price for it right now uh so yeah so this is with the hub this allows you to connect a lot of flicks and stuff uh, quite but then here you go so if you want one it's just thirty dollars for one uh, if you want a pack of three that's seventy nine dollars and so I mean depending on what you want you can you know you can go go with that now so someone was asking why do we why do I need a flick button when probably I can use my phone or I can use something else that's a very valid question but the problem is that assuming it's an emergency are you going to pick the phone now unlock it look for the number or type the number when you could just press this button just once or twice or hold on to it that is a that's a lot more faster as compared to you know trying to look for the phone and type so they complement each other we're not the, the, you know disputing or belittling any application all right so let's go ahead let's sign in and then do, 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 yep so this is it hopefully I remember the password if I don't then we are doomed but I think I do remember the password so this has connected successfully to my flick so I can go back here and you can see I have the Afri logic flick button that is how I named it if I quickly switch back here you can see that that is the name Afri logic of my button all right so that's that's it and then what event so these are the three events here what we've cut what we've configured is a click event all right so we're saying that when we click on on this right when we click on the button what's next so that's how flow works you can build a series of steps that will you know help you or determine how you can run things so let's do this I'm going to click on add so now <clears throat> what we want to do when this happens okay um, we want let's open this up I think there's something more that I can I can actually get from here add comment to the email that's fine okay so when this is pressed let's assume that there is um, how do you call it there is there's a call center okay there's a call center for the National Ambulance Service and it's a matter of either sending an email or sending an SMS you know what let's try let's try the SMS um, first and let's see how that 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 would work you know but baby steps don't 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 rush this understand the process so to make this a lot easier I'm just going to go ahead and do send an email okay so let's do um, Outlook so let's just open Outlook so what you're seeing these are triggers and these are the various connectors that are pre-built for you by Microsoft so I'm going to do let's look for send yeah so there you go send an email uh, ba -ba -ba -bum send an email yep so it's going to ask me to sign in all right because these are connectors that are available for me to use now so I'm going to sign in um, hopefully it's going to see my my yep let me try this now sometimes for some reason the the individual account do not work 
for some of the office staff but i can use i can actually i can click here and delete i can actually use gmail all right that also works so if i add and then just do gmail just type gmail as the action and you can see gmail is here all right and then i can do send email and this will ask me to sign in and i'll just go through the flow authentication flow um so i'm going to sign in to my gmail and then provide my password um ba -ba -ba -bum. so let's see okay i entered my password and yep i don't want to save this so yeah i'm allowing it so now i have given my flow access to use my gmail to send an email all right so the who am i sending this email to so hypothetically we are assuming that we are sending it to uh at outlook.com which is we are assuming that this is the ambulance service email okay which we want to send it to and what's the title um ambulance needed asap that's the title and i can say that help me i need an ambulance all right now i want to draw attention to something right here now I realized that as I was typing, this dynamic thing popped up. Now look at what's happening here. You remember that because I actually selected that I wanted to pass the um, how do you call it? I wanted to pass the the location. There is a longitude and a latitude here. All right, that is showing. Let me let me let me show you full screen so you can see this. So the latitude and longitude is showing here. So I can actually go ahead and say that help me I need an ambulance at uh, and then I can say let's say this is the lot now you could you, we can get creative with this all right I could actually pass this longitude and latitude to an Azure function that uses the Google Maps API okay to render a map location with this longitude and latitude and then adds it as a um, as an image that can be attached by how do you call it um, this particular flow all right but I'm just I'm just showing the possibility so I can say at latitude and then I can click this that dynamically inserts it and then um, long and then inserts the longitude and then that's it all right uh, and then I can come back here and say uh, time of request and then we can put the time that I clicked on the button. All right. So this is done. And technically, that's it. All right. There you go. And then I make sure I save this particular, um, how do you call it, flow. So right now, we have, when the button is pressed, we're going to send an email to this particular email assuming or pretending that this email is a national ambulance service email all right now if they had a system we could actually use our own api to send it to their systems directly so in the cases where you say oh there is actually um, a jam on the call people are on the call um, and they are not able to reach them we could use this another thing would be that this message will trigger a system where it's going to look at the nearest ambulance okay based on this longitude and latitude it's going to look for the nearest ambulance in you know closest to you and automatically dispatch that ambulance to your location so then we are not waiting for it to go to dispatch and for dispatch to so just think about think about those scenarios so what we can do is that i'm going to save this and let's test it out so to test it out i'm going to open my outlook email here yeah, I'm going to open it so that, you know, when I press it, we're going to see what's going to happen. We're, we're, we're going to test out and check to see if truly this is working the way it has to work. All right. So 
let's go for it uh, let's see yeah my mail is opening yeah um, it's telling me that someone connected that was me that's fine okay so now let's go ahead I'm going to click on test and I'll say that I will perform the trigger action myself so I do this and yeah I can close this and now take a look at this I'm going to press the button I just pressed it all right uh, yep let me go back on this yep so now I just press that button it's saving okay also well, here it's saving so let's wait for that to save let me refresh this and now take a look at this there you go immediately check this out ambulance needed if I open this up look at the email you see help me I need an ambulance at latitude and longitude time of request sends my time including my time zone right isn't this cool and then so from here I could actually I could actually send a flow you know to let's say the the dispatch group that's handling the ambulance request and they can immediately dispatch you to this location simple right now so how about okay this time around we want to at the same time um, let's go back to the flow our flow this is going to show us um, um, the the history of the flow as it's running so I want us to pause for a minute okay let's let's pause for a minute we've seen how this works let's pause for a minute and think about the possibilities so I'm in trouble with the press of this button I just sent an email to someone I could also now add a power process where I send an SMS to someone okay or I could have another process that actually tweets to the whole world that I'm in need of help at this particular location all right and like I'm saying this long lat you can put it into a map so I could have an Azure function and all the Azure function does is that it calls the Google API in fact you know what let's let's just let's just let's just try this out okay yeah let's leave here let's go back to edit I want to I want us to try you know to, to try this just to be curious because this this is getting interesting so let's do this now so we've sent the email I can click here and say I'm adding a power you know branch power branches are just yeah like you want to perform multiple um, multiple activities at the same time so here the next activity that I want to do is probably um, let's say I want to tweet this all right so I'll just start typing Twitter and there you go and then post the tweet <clears throat> okay and again you're supposed to authorize all right so I'm gonna go ahead and and actually authorize this and yeah as always I need to sign in and then authorize the app uh, close this so now Twitter is also connected all right so what is the text that I want to post now if this media okay I don't have any media to post it could it could be the long the light but I don't have this media to post so I can come here I mean think about it I think this is going to be a challenge how about we create a connector that takes a longitude and latitude and then returns it in a map as an image pinpoint it as a live kind of like a live map I think I'll, I'll probably work on that so what what message do I want to send I would want to say that uh, help me guys help me guys get an ambulance at my location um, help me get an ambulance at my location for yeah let's, let's say help me guys get an ambulance and then hashtag uh functions friday so nobody freaks out okay so we don't have people freaking out and then here again i can click on dynamic content you know open this up let's slide it here and then i can add the latitude 
space and then the longitude all right and then maybe you know the uid of the button we're just trying to be we're just trying to put something out there all right so this is done don't forget i'll save this now let's open actually we have twitter open here so i can bring twitter in in view uh okay yeah, as you can see we're going live on twitter as well so i'm going to go to my home or actually let me go to my profile since that's where the tweet is going to come from so let me put this here close this come a bit here and then we've saved this so again with a button all right i'm going to click it again yep the button has been clicked let's see if the actions happen so first let's go to our email we should receive another email because that action is still there there you go we receive the sec the second one that says that help me i need ambulance at this location and the time so the time is will tell us that yeah this is actually 36 uh it's 836 and then if you look at the the first one if you look at the first one that was 831 so that tells you another one came now to validate that it happened on twitter let's go to twitter let's expand this let me actually zoom in so you can see this properly and let's see let me just go here uh no let me just go to my page and just refresh now take a look at this there you go help me Help, help me guys get an ambulance oh i didn't even spell it wrong ambulance <laughs> ambulance at my location and this is functions friday and then you know all that has been added let me quickly delete this before somebody freaks out so as you can see we've automatically and you know simply created a flow that is triggered you know when the flick button is pressed so now if this was ambulance service this here would have sent an email to your loved ones would have tweeted onto your timeline to know there's something wrong with you so that people can come to your you know your rescue now let's try a last one which would be uh no 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 no. let's close this and i'm adding another power so i'm adding a third one which means at the same time and i'm going to say twilio i'm going to send an sms Unfortunately, we don't have things like um, 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 Haptel and the rest here. So anyone, if you're feeling daring and help, helpful enough, you can actually create a connector for Haptel. So let's say send a text message. All right. And it's going to ask me to connect uh, to my Twilio account. Um, I have this. So I'm going to go ahead somewhere and put in that information. This allows me to send SMSs using this account. So I'm going to connect and copy my connection name, my ID, and my token. Um, let's log in. And for the sakes of for the sakes of my privacy, I would actually, unfortunately, hide it before filling it in, just so people don't just go bombarding my stuff. So I'm going to go off for a while just a second you know just to punch in my my three look credentials all right so as of this one i can give it a name Trilo con the account id and the rest unfortunately i'm going to hide this from you for a while uh copy this put this here and where is that yeah i have my token hide this okay i've just entered all the details we need and then create so this is going to go ahead yep so now this is copied so i want to send an um uh, now who wants to receive my text message if anyone who's on the show is daring and wants to receive my text message just put in your number i'll swap it with your number and then you would get um, a message from me. So if you're not, if, if anyone is feeling daring enough, you can put your phone number in there. I'll put your phone number as a contact and then we'll send it to you. Or I could also set up a group, which means that 
anytime there's a number that hits this phone number I can do a USSD or something like that so let me do this um, so plus two three three two four four five three one six eight seven that is my phone number um, I'm using oh yeah so I'm using the I have a I have a number on Twilio this is where it's going so plus two three three two four four I put that here and the text I can say uh, I can also add dynamic content here so that's a cool thing about it you can get data from previous connectors you use so I'll say help me I need an ambulance ASAP all right at and then I just put my latitude space my longitude so that's a text that's just a text message I'm going to send so again click Save all right and let me go back and check the the Twitter message because we didn't spell it well so there you go an ambulance ambulance okay do this and then we save so now we have we have three uh, connectors in the flow so anytime this button is pressed it's going to send an email tweet on my timeline and send a text message all right so let's validate this I'm going to press it again button has been pressed let's go to our email go back to my inbox refresh and just start stay put and wait for this to pop up there you go I need an ambulance ASAP that is here so we know that it worked for the email let's go back let's bring uh, Twitter in view and I'm gonna go to my uh, again let me just refresh this onto my own timeline and there you go help me guys get an ambulance at this location that is sorted so let me delete this so no one freaks out so at least we know that the very first two the very first two is working so now let's see let's go ahead and see if we can actually uh, validate that we got um, a text message to this effect all right uh, so before we do that let me just go open my and yep okay 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 all right so so I'm going to flip this so now you can see my phone and as you can see there's a text message that has coming if I open this up as you can see help me I need an ambulance ASAP at this location all right simple that's done so now within a very short you know some few minutes we've been able to create an automated system okay that on a click of this button sends messages our phone um, email Twitter and then it would send it to the ambulance service if they have an API that receives you know this and I'm saying that the next level of this would be to create let's say a map or an app kind of thing where it actually sends your location to the nearest to the nearest you know ambulance driver so think about this if the ambulance drivers are equipped with devices to receive help then you can send them this will be blasted out and then the nearest ambulance will come to your aid or will call you and say that hey I'm closest to you and then how can I help all right now let's see if after all this happens I'm, tr I'm just trying to be inquisitive to see if we have anything like map map map, map. oh yeah there is there is a big map yep 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 wow so there's a map right so I'm going to go to Bing Maps and let's see what we can do can I get location by address or get location by point let's read about this uh, get a location I said with la exactly so let's see get location by address okay so this is what we are looking for get location by point all right this is interesting so I'm going to click this and now it's going to ask me oh I need to create a Bing's map um, connection and API unfortunately I don't have that you know what let's create one right now let's see maps API 
Yes, let's, let's create one right now and test it on the show and then we can call it a night We would have been able to do something useful on today's channel. Okay, so map service where we need Let's see. Let's see custom maps API for businesses. Hmm uh -huh -huh. Bing maps API key pricing. Let's see uh, Amazon maps choose your Bing maps API custom map API blah, 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 directions Bing maps so I I haven't used this before so so let's see uh, V8 web control SDK for Android Windows presentation I think it's a rest service okay the big map says same for performing tasks such as Euric reverse yeah so I think this is what we're looking at this is a fleet management services wow this is interesting I've not I've not explored the Bing maps this much so this is a good thing for me to you know try to look at okay let's go for the rest services web mobile desktop so let's click this so let's look at this so this is what rest services what does it give us we have access to all this cool so rest services let's go and do this and hey, yeah if you have any questions guys put it in the comments in on any other platform you're watching and I would you know respond to it I'll respond to that um, for you okay so let's see so it says getting started yeah let's go to getting started so to use a big map you must have a big maps key yes we don't have this so let's open up and get the big get, getting it uh, go to bigmaps.com if you have a big maps account signing with a Microsoft account blah 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 okay let's go here let's like open a lot of tabs okay so let's sign in well unfortunately Microsoft this is a very sad Bing Maps page I mean for devs welcome to the Bing Maps this is the first time you have logged in yes if you would like to continue creating your new Bing account a link below yes create an account for me I want that uh, so the account name I'll just say that's the name the contact name that is me Company is not required. I'll leave it email address Yeah, that will be the same email address. I'm using For today's show My phone number is not required. So I agree to it and then I create Yeah So announcement the name as they now supposed to active right to that's cool uh, Blah 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 blah. We recommend you have multiple we recommend have multiple address contact list okay so now I think my key so I think this is created now all right so I should be able to get keys and deploy them all right so again what is the application name it's called um, ambulance no this is called ambulance request that's the name of the application um, I don't have an application URL it's a basic application application type is um, it's a website okay well let's just use dev test and then I'll create yeah I can always delete this once I am done so go ahead yep and the application is created so let's come back to our flow our flow says that we need a connection name we'll just call this Bing maps connection API key hopefully let me hide this for a second from you guys copy this and let's come back here and then I paste this here and then create hopefully this creates a Bing map for me yes so it creates the Bing map looking very exciting so so point the latitude remember that when we click on the on the on the flick button we are sending latitude and longitude as well all right so I'm going to click on point latitude and um, uh, where, where are you come here come here come here come here uh, let's 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 see dynamic content I'll just say lat where is that? Add dynamic content. Choo, 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 choo. Let's open the flick. Let's see. Hmm. This is not okay. You know what? But no, this is supposed to show here. 
Uh, let me clear this. Oh, it's because it's coming directly under the email. But then this should this should have you know, and then the send grade is here, and the error codes are sitting with emergency if any. Okay, so you know what? Uh, we already have the connectors. Let's do this instead. Let's add it here, and let's add an action. Okay, or better still. Let's close this and add another power branch. Okay, and then this time we'll go to Bing. Um, and it's in preview, so yeah, I won't be surprised about this. But Microsoft make it easy so that we can have. So get locations. There you go. So here was the point latitude. Let me open this up and open the dynamic dynamic content here no dynamic content available there's no content available that is not true okay let's go back here we have flick dynamic content here so we should have flick we should have that here as well well like i mentioned it's 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 imp i've not used this before i was just trying to there is no content available if available is automatically from the connectors and actions you choose from the flow okay let's save this flow for now okay and i'm going to delete this yes save the flow and let's see let me try this again let me say location this time i use maps i'm trying to see if i can get anything that gives me location so there's a bing maps Okay, so let's go for Bing Maps, get location by point. Sorry about that. And it's still, okay, let's go to the body. Let me see. So the body has to validate that to validate that we actually have longitude and latitude. I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to pick something else. I'm going to pick, let's say, teams. Microsoft Teams, okay. I'm going to pick Teams to say that I want to send a message to a Teams. Or actually, let's see this. Let me try um, action. Let me just type um, approve. Let, let me let me try approve, okay. Let's type in approval and let's get let's get all actions related to approval. Okay, there you go. Okay, so there is a SharePoint. Okay, so there's an yes, yeah, there's an approval flow here. There is a Microsoft flow here. Okay, let me try the approval. I just want to validate that we have the longitude and latitude coming in. Okay, so we have approval. So create an approval start and wait for an approval wait for an approval so start and wait for an approval that's what we want to do so yep what's the approval type uh yep so it's approve reject everyone must approve first to respond so i'll just say approve re reject first to respond so what i'm doing is that after sending all the email um what i'm also trying to do is to get to get this to start an approval approval process all right so um, approve reject first response title um balance needed assign to let's see I'm, I'm going to assign it to myself again at outlook.com you always have to press enter to get it in there now there you go now check this out okay so this is it so yeah so um anyone from microsoft bing maps um actually let me tweet about this um yeah i mean the life of the community we've chosen so i'm going to do at micro uh microsoft uh where is that let's see bing I'm actually tweeting about this. Bing, yep. Check your flow 
flow connector it doesn't pick up large and long from actually let me bring this here so you can see what I'm doing you can see I'm, I'm tweeting right now so so you kind of see like how my stuff my daily life goes so hey Bing uh, can you check your flow connector it um, it doesn't seem to you know get large and long from at let's do flick at smart like yeah flick button pressed okay so tweet that is out of the way we can move this here okay so let's not approve our rule so now we're saying that what's the markdown or what's the what's the info we're sending okay so I'm saying that um, help me get an ambulance to this location this location and then here as you can see this is everything from our Twilio everything from our Twitter everything from our email everything from our flick so what lat space long alright so there was a problem with that connector so we'll do this and then I'll save this save save and then we close so now this is our flow okay when the button is pressed we send a text message we tweet we send an email and then after all this is happening we send what we call an approval flow now this is what an approval flow does you're going to see that it's going to so see this as let's say whoever is in charge of the ambulance uh, dispatch center would receive this email and say yes or no all right so let's do this again I'm going to press this button button has been pressed let's go to our mail let's come back to the inbox let's refresh this uh, I can actually refresh my Twitter I mean we've already seen that so yeah it's, it's actually come it's, it's on Twitter here as you can see right here we have that let me delete this before someone freaks out before my father calls me okay so now check this out I receive this ambulance needed ASAP okay that is done right so this is the first one let's go back to the inbox I used I think I used the same the same email so I should be getting an approval unless of course there is something happening with a connector and I didn't get an approval let's refresh this oh if it's a test it might not it might it might not show up let's go back here now what we can do is that um, we can go to flows no cancel save this all right saved let's go back here we can actually go to flows okay so it failed this one failed let's open and see what actually caused it to fail so I can open this up that's why I didn't get the second approval one so I can go in here and check out what failed so let's open this uh, while this is happening well I can close this close this I already have a key I could close this yep all right flow run failed what happened so as you can see from the visual okay so this run all the emails run but this one failed let's open it up forbidding the request field error code graph lookup request error user lookup request the graph field lookup okay so it's it's probably erroring because it's saying it couldn't find um what's this probably uh, S at outlook.com. It couldn't find me, or I'm, it's probably not allowed to send approval to me because it's not a corporate account. That's fine. That's fine. But then, hey, if I were using a corporate account, then I would have received this flow and then I would have approved it or, you know, decided to reject it or not. So let's go back. Let's go back to our flow. Um, click on it. Ambulance request. Click on the edit flow. 
so that it brings us back to our portal. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'm actually surprised that there isn't anything for Google like Maps. You know what? Let's do this. Let me go back and type Google Maps. Google Contacts, Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Task. So it has nothing like Google Maps. Okay, let's look at now premium connectors. You need to pay for them. They are not free. So anything, anytime you see premium close to something, you should know that is is not free. I don't have any custom. I think this this is going to make me try to create a custom um, custom connector that will take coordinate and show me that particular position on the map. But apart from that, this is how we create a very simple response emergency response system using a physical button to send your location to a team of paramedics or emergency response team to help you. I have a story behind this. Imagine you have a loved one who is involved in an accident and there's nothing you know things are, are probably desperate for help it's just a click of a button for his loved ones or her loved ones or even an emergency response team to know where exactly the thing is happening and then can go to you know to the rescue imagine it is actually a smart watch you can actually get some pulse information correlated with this as well so until i come your way next week with another episode remember we're making some changes I to Tuesday remains the same. This show will now be Demystified Technology on Fridays and Power Series always going to be on Sundays. Now, if you have to miss anything on Sunday or this weekend, don't miss the Power Series show. A powerful person is coming onto the show. Connect, be encouraged, learn, and hey, let's move Africa forward in tech one step at a time. Brighten the corner where you find yourself. Share what you learn. Use it for the good of mankind. So I come your way again next Friday. This has been Samuel Adrani for Functions Friday. I'm out.